President Obama has gone bipartisan in his picks for the Fed board, selecting a Republican and a Democrat. For more is Reuters Fed correspondent Pedro da Costa in Washington. Well, Pedro, Jeremy Stein teaches economics at Harvard, and he formerly served in the Obama administration. How do you see him impacting Fed policy? It's hard to know exactly where his leanings lie as far as policy is concerned, but we do know that he wrote a paper recently about how to conduct monetary policy at the zero bound. So that suggests that he would at least be theoretically supportive of the Fed's QE policy so far. And his work also fills a gap in economics, which is that it links the financial side, the markets, to, to macroeconomics. And I think that's, that's a gap that the Fed has been very, uh, very forceful about wanting to fill. And I guess he adds to the Fed stable of uh, economists who are, are on the uh, board. Um, Jerome Powell, on the other hand, brings Wall Street experience. He formerly served in the Treasury Department under the Republican administration of George H.W. Bush. What impact might he have? What does he bring to the table? That's right. Uh, the bulk of his career from between 1997 and 2005 was spent at Carlyle Group, the large private equity firm. And so I would see him as sort of replacing Kevin Warsh, who was a former Morgan Stanley executive. Uh, you know, he's going to be the guy with banking experience. So when you have that, that Sunday night phone call and, and people are talking about complicated derivatives and, and counterparties, he's going to be the guy on the phone because he's probably the one with the closest day-to-day -day knowledge of operational markets. At this point, any expectation that he, there might be a run-in because he's a Republican uh, when they debate policy? You know, I don't think so. The, the, not internally. The Fed is, is very sort of tries at least to be very apolitical in its approach. So I don't, I don't see any internal strife. In fact, I think that Obama's effort to nominate both a Democrat and a Republican is an attempt to overcome some of the opposition that a prior uh, nominee, Peter Diamond, faced. So I think he's trying to, to make it more difficult for Republicans to make noise about these, these choices. I know it's early in the ball game. Is there any sense, Pedro, as to whether these two nominations will make the Fed either lean more dovish or hawkish? It's hard to say. You know, with new board members, they don't tend to dissent very loudly, and so I wouldn't expect it to have any major impact. But if you, if you count the additional board nominees as potentially voting alongside with the chairman and the core of the committee, then it, at the margin it might make the committee slightly more dovish. All right. Thanks a lot, Pedro, for your thoughts. Our thanks to Reuters' Pedro da Costa in Washington. I'm Fred Cantayama, and this is Reuters.